All right, hi everyone. So this is going to be one video in quite a few where we're going to go over mapping tools. These are tools that I use a lot. I'm going off this post I wrote up a while back at digitalmapmaking.com and we're just going to have a short video about each one of them. So to start we're going to look at geojson.io. I use this all the time. I probably use this almost every day when I'm doing mapping. So this is a site that I believe is run by Mapbox. Yeah, it says it up here. Uh, they recently updated it so that it's using their latest globe view. It traditionally was always just using this Mercator, uh, Mercator view. Um, but you can use the globe view if you want, whatever. Anyway, it does some pretty basic stuff. You can draw shapes, you can put points on the map, you can, you know, uh, play, paste a GeoJSON in, or you can mess with a table view. So what do I use this for? So mainly it's uh, to verify GeoJSONs from clients or verify shapes. So clients may send me a GeoJSON and when I try to put it in the map it doesn't quite appear right. So if it's not appearing right I can come and paste in a GeoJSON here and it'll load up. So let's grab um, or I can drag it in. So here's one of my GeoJSONs from native land and it's this is like 30 megabytes and I drag it in and there we go imported the, all these. We can scroll through them. They have recently improved this scrolling it looks like because it used to kind of jump up and down but it looks like they've improved this and even added some better coding. And they also will appear in a table view which is pretty helpful as well if you need to just look through your GeoJSON real quickly and get a handle on what's in it. And this will allow you really easily to take screenshots, send it to clients if there's some problem or at least identify the problem you already have. Now you can also click on shapes and uh, directly delete or add them and it'll change the subsequent GeoJSON. This is a little slow because I have such a big GeoJSON here. Or I can even edit them. Um, does it allow me to edit them directly? I think if I press the edit button and all the geometries appear here with all their little dots that you can drag to edit. Um, that's all pretty pretty self-explanatory. And when you, of course when you click on individual shapes you can see all their details as well. So this is great for this reason. It's also just great in general for um, drawing shapes. So if I reload it, first of all, you'll see it allows me to reload the last one, but I won't in this case, but I can also just draw shapes. So if I wanted to create a shape um, and then just throw it into my application, very quick, very easy. I get the GeoJSON, boom, no problem. That That's really handy at times. Uh, I can also verify coordinates. So I've had it quite often where clients will send me coordinates in the wrong system. Either they'll send it to me in a wrong projection. So this will be like a very large number because it's meters or they'll send it to me reversed coordinates, which is fairly common because Google Maps does latitude longitude, whereas GeoJSONs do longitude latitude with points. So they'll often send me something like this and I'm not seeing it when I try to load it onto my map. And when I used to do it in the old GeoJSON.io, it would appear way down in Antarctica, but they've fixed it a little bit. Anyway, normally if it's very uh, less than 90, it'll be in, in Antarctica, the, the, the latitude there. Um, but you, you get the point, like if it's reversed, I can actually see, no, there's, it's not a problem with my application, it's a problem with the GeoJSON itself. And that's really helpful for identifying errors when it comes to working with client information or with your own information. So that's a quick look at uh, geojson.io. I think that covers all the main things about it. So I hope this uh, is helpful to you and really make, make wide use of this tool.